We have some exciting news about detecting cancer. We already know that trained dogs can detect cancer by sniffing, and spectrophotometers can identify cancer by measuring light emissions in breath and in urine. And now, bioelectric signatures can help not only identify precancerous cells, but change the signals to stop the cancer from developing or spreading. <laughs> now that is early detection. <laughs> it really is. And we're talking about a whole new era of how we're going to be looking for cancer. And almost at a place where we're preventing it because a lot of these new techniques will develop uh, a way of identifying precancerous cells, not just ones that are cancerous. So when we're looking at these bioelectrical charges across the cell membrane, that's what's happening. So it's like we've got a bioelectric fingerprint. Exactly, because the cancers all have a different kind of electrical pattern, and so do other things that happen to cells that make them different. So we're looking at the electrical potential across the membrane of the cell, Vicki. Well, this was an exciting study because this, the researchers were able to uh, lower the incidence of the cancer cells by manipulating these electrical charges yeah, it's across the cell membrane. Yeah, this is beautiful. This was work that was done and published in Disease Models and Mechanisms, and it's not coming out until May of 2013. And like I said, they not only identify the cells that are likely to become cancers, but they can change the charge across the membrane using various techniques that will actually change the outcome of how the cancer behaves should it develop. So we're looking at high-tech approaches now that are really making a difference in, in what we do in terms of cancer management. Well, this to me sounds a lot better than having to go through chemotherapy and radiation oh. and surgery. I mean, if, if, it, if this is perfected, um, this, this is really good news. Right. So always lifestyle is your first choice of how to keep from getting cancer. But if there's a way of doing early detection that's simple uh, and non-invasive, I mean, this is just, just a way of measuring the electrical potential of a cell membrane and then changing it to make that voltage increase because of the low voltage, what seems to be associated with the cancer, we're ahead of the game. So technology has a place uh, if we're going to be at risk for cancer. And whether it be dogs or it be spectrophotometers or it be uh, just this approach of looking at cell membrane potential, we're on the right track.